Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Soul Inspired Seller. So today I'm going to be sharing my sales for the second half of April 2021 on the Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari platforms. And like always guys, I'll be fully transparent with my numbers, not only sharing what my items are selling for, but where I sourced each item, what I paid for each item, and what my actual net profit is after I back out my cost of goods, platform fees, uh, the free shipping I offer on eBay and Mercari, what am I actually profiting? I'm also going to continue to summarize what is selling for me and where I'm at with the 200 pound thread up rescue box I've been tracking on in my what solds. And then guys, I got my first negative feedback on eBay and I'm going to share with you guys how I disputed it and what was eBay's response? How did that go for me? And I think you will be a little bit surprised. I actually was myself. So with that, if you are interested, please stick around. We're going to get right into it. So welcome back to my current subscribers. If you are new here, my name is Nicole Wills and I am a full-time nurse leader, a full-time mama of two littles, and I love taking a lot of my additional time and investing in and growing my part-time reselling business, which is primarily on the Poshmark platform, but I also sell on eBay and Mercari as well. So if you love reseller content from tips and tricks, I put out what solds every two weeks to help you when you're sourcing to unboxings and different hauls. If that type of content interests you, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. I think you might really enjoy it. And as always, if you appreciate the time that it took for me to put this content together, if you would just take a second and give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that as well. So guys, we're going to get right into my sales for the second half of April 2021. And for anybody new here, sharing my sales is definitely not to brag. I just love to share my sales. So you guys know what is selling for me. Maybe you'll learn some new brands. Maybe I give little tips and tricks throughout these as well. So hopefully you learn something to help with your sourcing and your sales as well. That really is the intent. So to give a quick summary of my overall sales for the last two weeks of April 2021, I sold a total of 35 items during that two week period. As always, the majority of the sales were on Poshmark, but I actually had nine sales on eBay and one sale on Mercari. And I did have one eBay return for fit during that time and I will definitely share that with you as I go through. So let's just jump right into the sales and if I don't say eBay or Mercari it is safe to assume the sale occurred on Poshmark. So starting on April 16th, I sold this Nua Tags Chaser Striped Oversize Burnout Tee. It was a size medium. This was actually a full price sale. It was not via an offer. This item had been listed since September, so for a pretty long period of time. And I think, you know, it is more of a spring and summery top, so I probably uh, didn't list it at the most optimal time, but sometimes buyers are surprising and they will buy things off season. I just love to get my stuff listed when I can. So. This item sold for $22 and I sourced this item from a BNG trading uh, specialty box with chaser pieces. It was $6 and so I ended up profiting $11.60 off of this tee. So also on April 16th, I sold this pair of key sunglasses and key is spelled with a Q guys. It's spelled like Quay, but you say it key. It's Q-U-A-Y and a subscriber actually pointed that out to me when I started my YouTube channel and I'm really grateful for that because I do sell a lot of key sunnies and like I said this was an eBay sale it was sold via an offer for $35 and guys this is a multi quantity listing that I have in my Poshmark closet and my eBay uh, store and so I actually purchased these for $10 a piece on Joe Mar they are new with tags which for Key Sunnies, that is right around what I like to pay for them. I did pay shipping on this item, which was a little bit more than $3. And so I ended up profiting $12.93 on this pair of Key Sunnies. The next sale on April 17th was on eBay, but this was the return. So I actually didn't make anything, but I will share it with you guys. It was this, the North Face orange full zip jacket in a size extra small. And yeah, the buyer did end up returning it for fit. 
the North Face, uh, I will buy like their puffer vests if I can get it for a low enough cost of goods, or I will buy like brightly colored items like this. It's not a brand that has high resale value. I find that brands like Patagonia sell better, but because this was this fun popping orange color and springy, I did purchase this item. And I think this was an item that I did buy from my buy sell trade store at one point. So it is still listed if anybody is interested. All right, on April 18th, I had a total of three sales. The first one was this new with tags. It was a pair of Sanctuary Black Capri leggings in a size small. This item did sell for full price and I was glad because I had this listed since last summer. This item sold for $35 and this was an item that I had sourced off of Poshmark for $6.80. So I ended up profiting $21.20 off this pair of leggings. The next item, really excited to talk about. So this was from the ThreadUp 200 pound rescue box that I am specifically tracking on for my what solds. If you guys have not not seen that video, I will definitely link it. it. would be worth watching if you plan on watching my what solds going forward because it is a specific order out of many thread up orders that I am tracking on and reporting out not only for me but for you guys so you can see the potential within these 200 pound rescue boxes. So it was this Lululemon scuba hoodie uh, two in washi weave. It was a size six. It did sell via an offer. It was only listed for six days and it sold for $50. And so with this particular thread up 200 pound rescue box, the cost of goods for this one was $1.70 per piece. And so I ended up profiting $35.84. The next item to sell on the 18th was on eBay. It was this Lily Pulitzer Delia midi shift dress in Let's Cha Cha in a size eight. I love the different names of the different prints that they have. It was sold via an offer and it was only listed for a few days, guys. It sold for $63.99. And guys, this was an item that I purchased at Clothes Mentor in Sandusky, Ohio, when I was on a trip. I purchased it for $16. And so I ended up profiting $39.66 on this dress. Guys, it is Lily Pulitzer season. It is the time when people are thinking about traveling to the beach and Lily Pulitzer does have a following. On April 19th, I had three sales. So this first sale was this Victoria's Secret Sports. It was a funnel neck pullover in a size medium. It was sold via an offer and I had this item listed since the summer. It did get quite a bit of attention, but guys, I just sometimes find that Victoria's Secret, other than like bra sell really well for me, sometimes their other stuff sits for a while. Uh, this sold for $25. This was a piece that I picked up at my local Goodwill outlet for around a dollar. And so I ended up profiting around $19 for this piece. My next two sales on the 19th were on eBay. The first one was this Nike Pro dry fit half zip pullover in a size medium. Guys, I will pick up these Nike pieces if they have bright, fun prints and I can get them for a really low cost of goods. I do find that they do move for me both on eBay, mainly on eBay, but sometimes on Poshmark as well. This is really more of an item that I would put on eBay personally. It did sell via an offer. It was only listed for about a month and it sold for $31 dollars and 99 cents and so after i paid shipping guys this was a piece that i also got from the goodwill outlet so my cost of goods was around a dollar maybe even a little bit lower so i made 22 dollars and 45 cents off of this pullover the last sell on ebay on the 19th was this blank nyc distressed rose denim jacket it was new with tags i believe it was listed for a few months but guys this uh jacket got quite a bit of attention i did have it priced kind of high because i don't know i just wanted a certain amount out of it because it was unique and fun and pretty and so it sold for an offer of 55 dollars i did pay about six dollars in shipping and guys, this was a piece that I picked up at my Uptown Cheapskate for $8.33. I believe I used 20% off for racking up points. And so I ended up making $32.95 on this jacket. Also on April 20th, I had three sales. The first sale was this pair of Steve Madden Felice Flora heels in a size eight and a half. These were listed for about one month. They did sell via an offer for $35. And I purchased these from my local buy sell trade store at my style encore for $11. And so I ended up profiting 
$14.54 on this pair of heels. And guys, this was an item that unfortunately the customer did open a case for and they tried to return uh, due to fit and Poshmark did deny that return. So I did end up getting funding. I always kind of feel bad, but at the same time, it's like, that is just the rules of Poshmark. You can't return due to fit. There was nothing wrong with the item. The next two sales on the 20th were on eBay. And so the first item was the Sincerely Jewels. It was a beige knit fringe sleeveless top in a size extra small. This item was only listed for a week. It sold for an offer of $20.99. And guys, this was an item that I sourced off of Poshmark. It was actually something I wanted to buy something personally and I saw that I had this other item in their closet that I thought I could sell and make up for part of my personal purchase. And so I just scooped it up. So I paid about $6 for it. So I ended up profiting $11.82. The next item, guys, was this pair of Heelys. It was a pair of girls. It was a shiny iridescent wheeled skate sneaker in a size three youth. These were listed for a couple months, which I was kind of surprised about because I feel like these skate sneakers are kind of popular. Uh, these sold for $20 on eBay. And so after I paid shipping, I did purchase these at the Goodwill outlet. So I only paid a couple dollars for them. They were a little bit heavier. So I ended up profiting $9.01 on this pair of skate shoes. On April 21st, I had four sales. The first sale was on Mercari, guys. And if you haven't watched my coach unboxing, where I actually come back and share what sold a month later, this was an item that did sell within that month time frame and I do share within that video, but I will put the link here for that one too. I think people are really enjoying that one, but it was this Coach Large C uh, chocolate shoulder bag. This item was listed for maybe like three-ish weeks. It sold for $43 uh, via an offer. And like I said, this was from a thread up Coach Rescue Haul. Um, this item did have a minor flaw. There was some discoloration on the front of the bag, maybe even a little bit more than minor to some people. And it was a canvas bag with leather trims. It wasn't all leather. So I actually ended up sourcing this item for $18, but because of the flaws, I was actually happy to just see it moving along. And so after I paid shipping, I only made about... I think $11 on this bag. So I was just happy to get my money back and move on. But the other items, well, I'll just let you watch the video if you're interested, but I am doing well with the other items. The next item to sell on the 21st was this lot of five new with tag and their Cat and Jack glitter birthday cake purses. I'm selling them singly on my site and I'm also selling them in lots. I could see them being fun little party favors if you were having a, you know, a smaller girl's birthday party with only like, you know, a small group of people. And so these items are a multi-quantity listing in my closet. I actually have a ton of them. I got a lot of them in a uh, wholesale ninjas case pack palette with target merchandise and so this lot sold for an offer for $25 and so after my cost of goods these were about two dollars a piece I ended up profiting ten dollars off these little girls purses the next item was also from a wholesale ninjas case pack palette uh, merchandise from target and you guys have seen these in my what solds before if you've been watching them but multi-quantity listing it is this universal thread floral wrap uh, ruffle sleeve dress and this one was in a size small but I have them in a lot of different sizes I am starting to sell out I know I'm sold out in the medium and maybe the extra large already this item sold for an offer of $18 and so I only ended up paying two dollars for this and I ended up profiting nine dollars and 94 cents off of this dress the last item to sell on April 21st was on eBay it was this pair of free people Giselle twisted suede black heels um, they were in this beautiful kind of like red Red slash burnt orange color. They had only been listed for about a month. They did sell for an offer for $63.99. I did pay $8 shipping on these. This was an item, guys, that I purchased from my local Uptown Cheapskate for $8. And so I ended up profiting $39.66 on this pair of heels, which I was very grateful for. All right, I had two sales on April 22nd. They were both on a Poshmark. The first one was this Anthropology Akimi and Kin. It was like the boho eye cat split neck top in a size extra small. 
This item sold for an offer of $20. And so this was an item, guys, that I had sourced way back when on Poshmark. I was happy to see it moving along. And I ended up profiting $7.54 on this top. The second item to sell on April 22nd was this Knox Rose Eyelash Soft Fuzzy Duster Cardigan in a size small. This item had been listed since December. Uh, it sold for an offer of $15. I purchased this at my local buy, sell, trade store for six dollars i only ended up profiting six dollars but this was another item i was happy to see moving along i had one sale on april 23rd and it was on ebay and it was another pair of new tag key incognito sunnies these sold for 35 dollars like i said i got these from joe mar for ten dollars a pair new tags and i ended up paying a little over three dollars in shipping so my profit was seventeen dollars and four cents for this pair of sunnies Okay, my only sale on April 24th was a bundle sale and it sold obviously on Poshmark. Uh, the first one, and this was such a sweet buyer. I remember she left me really sweet feedback. The first one of this two piece bundle sale was this pair of Lucky Brand Sophia Skinny Dark Wash Jeans in a size 26. And then the second item was this Eileen Fisher. It was a petite, it was a linen cotton blend cardigan in a size small. The jeans I had listed since the fall, they were from uh, probably one of my first 200 pound thread up rescue boxes. And then the Eileen Fisher cardigan was from my most recent thread up rescue box that I am tracking on. And so guys, this bundle sold for $50. So my cost of goods was around, it was a little bit over $3 for both of these pieces. So I ended up profiting $35 on this bundle. So wasn't sad about that. I had three sales on April 25th. The first one was this pair of Madewell, the Margot green suede slingback flats in a size seven. Guys, these were just so cute. These were only listed for a couple of days. They sold via an offer for $40. This was actually an item that I got in a recent Joe Mar, um, what was it called? Pre-loved shoe pack. I had gotten two of them, so I gotten 40 pairs of shoes. And to be quite honest, guys, the boxes were okay. This was one of my favorite pieces from the box, so I was happy with these. And so the reason I got those boxes is the cost of goods was only $4.74 per pair of shoes. And so I ended up profiting $24.80 off this pair of Madewells. The second item to sell, on the 25th was this pair of they were actually brand new without tags puma times fenty by rihanna it was the bow creeper sandal so it tied up the ankle in a size seven these actually sold for my full asking price of 65 dollars these were listed for a couple months and got a bit of attention this was an item that i purchased at my local play-doh's closet so you guys that have been watching me know i have a style encore and i have a play-doh's and they are like right beside each other and i like to shop play-doh's but really only for the shoes so this this was a pair of shoes that I had gotten at Plato's Closet for $10 and so I ended up profiting $42 off this pair of Pumas. So that was pretty cool. My last sale on April 25th was on eBay. It was this Tahari by Arthur Levine. It was a floral sleeveless dress in a plus size 16. And guys, this item was only listed for a couple of days. It sold faster than I thought it would uh, for an offer for $37.99. I believe it was an offer that I had sent and they accepted. I paid about $4 for shipping, maybe a little bit more than that. And guys, this was a piece from the thread up 200 pound box that I am summarizing for you. So my cost of goods was $1.70. And so I ended up profiting $27.22. One item sold on April 26th. It was this pair of J. Crew Sophia. They were like a blue with silver stars kitten heel mule. Uh, and they were in a size eight and a half. These had been listed since November. So they were super cute and got a lot of attention. But I think just listing them in the fall, it took to the spring to sell because of the season. Uh, sold via an offer for $46.00. And so guys, I bought these at my local style encore for $12.37. So I ended up making $24.43 off this pair of J. Cruz. Uh, it looks like I had four sales on April 27th. The first sale was this pair of Lucky Brand Gable leather peep toe wedge sandals in a size eight. Uh, these were only listed for a week. They sold pretty quickly for $28 via an offer. And guys, this was an item that I sourced 
so off of Poshmark recently for $8.60. I was actually on Instagram and one of my fellow poshers was actually having a sale where she was selling things for, for $25. And this was just a piece that I picked up. So like I said, with shipping, I factored out my cost of goods, $8 and 60 cents. And so I ended up making $11 and 34 cents off this pair of shoes. The next item, I was just so happy to see it going. It was a personal item for me. Um, it was this Zella Periwinkle tie knot waist muscle tank in a size small. This had been listed since last summer. It it sold via an offer for $12. Like I said, this was an item that I had personally bought for myself at my buy sell trade and it just did not fit me correctly. And so I ended up profiting $9.05 off this top. The next item to sell on April 27th, excited to say it is another item from the Thread Up 200 pound box that I am tracking on. It was this Kate Spade Riley sheath dress. You'll remember it if you watched my uh, last video. Like I said, if you haven't, you should definitely go back and watch it. This was one of my favorite uh, pieces that I highlighted. It was a size eight. It was only listed for a couple of weeks and it did sell via an offer for $55. And so I paid $1.70 70 cents for this piece and ended up profiting $34.85. The next item and last item to sell on April 27th was also from that same 200 pound box. So cost of goods, $1.70. It was also highlighted in my haul video. It was this pair of Everlane cheeky jeans, high rise. They were 100% cotton in a size 31. They were only listed for a few days and they sold via an offer of $45. And so I ended up profiting $31.84. And for anyone who's watched that video or just some knowledge in general, anytime I get Everlane jeans, guys, they sell so quickly. I've already sold both pairs from that haul. I mean, they sell really quickly if you have them priced right. All right. April 28th was my only no sales day in this period. And then on the 29th, I did have a bundle sale on Poshmark. It was for $50 and it was two J Crew pieces. So one was, uh, it was J Crew and I believe this was a factory piece. It was a tropical one shoulder uh, shift dress in a size medium. The other was this pair of J Crew Morgan leather peep toe flat sandals in a size seven and a half. And guys, the dress has actually been listed for about a year and I actually have a couple of them. They are a multi-quantity listing in my closet. I had sourced these off of Poshmark for around $6. The J. Crew Morgan sandal was only listed for about one week and this was another of my favorite pieces from the Joe Mar shoe pack that I had gotten. So I only paid $4.74 for those. So like I said, this bundle sold for $50 and it looks like I made around $32 on this bundle. So I was happy about that, especially the dress. It's been in my closet for a while and I do have one of them left if anybody is interested. And I believe it's a size medium as well. The next sale and last sale on the 29th was actually really exciting to me. It was this pair of Birdies Blackbird Black Calf Hair Ballet Flats in a size eight. They sold for full asking price of $80 on Poshmark. And guys, these were from a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. So it's kind of funny. I got this rescue box around the time that my recent coach video went out. And I remember chatting with people saying, yeah, I just got a rescue box today. It was just like kind of okay. It was nothing to write home about. But as I started to do my research, these birdies are actually in high demand. I think like Meghan Markle wears them. That's at least what I was Googling. And these sold in a matter of hours, guys. Definitely less than 24 hours, like just a few hours, I feel. And so I paid $6.67 since ThreadUp has increased their prices. I made $54.87 off this pair of shoes. So I am a lot closer to making my money back on that box than I thought I would be right out of the gate. So was excited about that, but I would say guys, if you're not familiar with the brand Birdies, this is definitely a brand to look out for. They are so comfortable. I was able to try them on and 
I'm kind of tempted to order a pair for myself now. On April 30th, to round out the two week period, I had three sales. So the first sale was this pair of Nike Harache. They were a boys, a six youth pair of black and gold sneakers. And so they sold for my full asking price of $30. These were from a thread up rescue shoe box before they increased their prices. So I paid approximately $6 for these. These were listed for about a month and a half. And unfortunately, this was another case opened. You know how cases get open on Poshmark? I won't have any for a really long period of time. And then they kind of come in slews of two to three. I don't know if that happens to you guys. The buyer did try to return them for fit and unfortunately Poshmark did deny that request as well. So I ended up profiting $16.50. The next sale was from the thread up 200 pound rescue box that I'm tracking on. It was this pair of AG by Adriana Goldschmied. It was the legging skinny jean in a size 26. Uh, these sold via an offer and guys, these were only listed for four days. So I will tell you, AG jeans are so hit or miss for me. I will list some and they will just sit there and I will list some and they will sell right away. It is the most interesting thing. What I will say about these though, is they did have an interesting pattern. So perhaps that is why they sold, or maybe it's just a sought after style that AG has. I don't know, but they are very hit or miss for me. They either sell really fast or they sit. So these sold for $30. And like I said, I paid $1.70 per item for that box or that order. And I ended up profiting $19.84 for this pair of jeans. The last sale in April occurred on eBay. It was this pair of black Timberland. They were like an open weave leather boot, um, kind of like combat boot style like they have. And these were only listed for about a month. These sold for an offer for $63.99. And so after I paid shipping and platform fees, um, guys, this was an item that I actually paid up for at my buy sell trade store. I paid $25 for these. And so I ended up profiting $22.50. 51 cents off this pair of boots. All right, so before I go into my net profit, I kind of want to share this eBay negative feedback story with you. It was a pair of key sunnies and it was a sale to Puerto Rico. And I do remember this buyer, it was just kind of interesting. They came at me with like a really low ball offer to start with. I had countered back and then they had written me and said, how much for two? And we just kind of went back and forth and they ended up not accepting my offer. But then I think eventually they sent me an offer for $35 for one pair. So it was just kind of interesting to begin with. So ship them out right away. And then I ended up getting the negative feedback. And of course, you know, negative feedback on eBay, it kind of is, it is a big deal. Um, I think it really does impact the algorithm and it impacts the algorithm. That's all I can say about that. And so it was basically that the item was never delivered. That's what the negative feedback was for. And so I'm like, that's really out of my control. And then I went back to the item and it actually said that the item had been delivered. So whether the item was delivered and the buyer was just trying to maybe scammy. I don't know what it was. I did read through eBay's, you know, return policy and something out of our control, like delivery is really not a reason that a buyer can give you negative feedback. So I kind of heard mixed reviews of getting feedback removed on eBay. So I was kind of like, okay, this is going to be a process. It's going to take a while. And I wish I could show you guys how I did it on my phone. But basically what I remember is I went to the negative feedback and I believe if you get negative feedback on the app on your phone, you can hit dispute feedback. And it was as simple as hitting the button dispute feedback. I typed a sentence like, you know, the buyer is saying that these were never delivered, although, you know, it is saying that it was delivered and that, you know, I don't feel like this is within my control as a seller. And I was just prepared to wait days or go back and forth with eBay guys, they responded within like 20 minutes that they had looked at my dispute and that basically the feedback wasn't warranted. 
melted and that they were removing it. And I was just, I was super happy with their customer service. And I was frankly, very relieved. And they had also put that it might take 72 hours for the feedback to go away. And guys, I looked just within a couple of hours and it was gone. So I'm not sure if that's how it always goes, if it is always that seamless, but you know, we share a lot of the negative things and our struggles. And I just want to share a positive. I was just really happy with the way that eBay handled that. And I thought they handled it in a very fair and timely manner. So wanted to share that. Also, I want to share where I'm at with my 200 pound thread up rescue box that I'm tracking on. So of that total order guys I had shared in the video but I plan to list a hundred pieces I had taken a portion of that haul and I had taken it to my buy sell trade store and I have recouped some of my money that way and so so far I have listed a total of 36 of the hundred pieces so slow and steady and I'm just trying to balance it all and not like get it listed but not kill myself so I've listed 36 pieces of the 100 pieces. Of those 36 pieces, 10 have sold, at least for this period. It is actually May 9th while I'm filming this. And just as a little sneak peek, I have sold some more items, but I'm gonna share those for my next what sold. And so 10 have sold as of this period. And so I still have 64 pieces that I plan to list. And some of them are more like winter items. So I'm just kind of sitting on them right now. But guys, between what I have taken to my buy sell trade store and gotten store credit that way and the 10 items I have sold I have made back my $500 already and I am in a positive profit margin of $36.43 so very happy where I'm at with that especially because if you watch that video you guys know I have bought four 200 pound thread up rescue boxes and this one I'm tracking on was actually I was very happy with it but it was my least favorite out of the four so just interesting. I'm already in the positive profit margin. So guys, back to the last two weeks of April 2021. You saw my thumbnail. I made $1,246.94 in total gross sales. Once you back out my cost of goods, my platform fees, and the free shipping I offer on eBay and Mercari, I had a total net profit for that two week period of $720.82. So guys, that was a pretty, like, I would say average to low side profit margin. But honestly, guys, I am grateful for any sales that I'm getting these days and um, just happy to be making sales at all. So guys, I'm really excited for my next what sold video because within the first two weeks of May, I had my highest gross sales day. I had my highest selling item and my highest profiting item within that two week period as well. And so if you're on my Instagram, I'm soul inspired seller over there. I did do a post on it. So you could go take a sneak peek, but I'm really excited to film my next what sold for you and just share. I think my first two weeks in May are going to look really, really good, uh, better than I've been in a while. So very happy with how my sales are going in current state. So guys, that's all I have for today. I would love to hear from you in the comments. I would love to know what you thought of these what solds. Did you you learn anything new today? Are you finding my what solds valuable? Like always, I would love to hear from you and I do respond as quickly as I possibly can. I love getting to know you guys and just interfacing with the community in that way. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon guys.